Recently, the Northampton City Council hosted a meeting to discuss new lighting standards for the city in an effort to reduce light pollution. The standards will not affect the lighting already in place, but instead be applied to any new lighting built in the city and will also apply to the proposed Main Street redesign. We spoke to a consultant on the project and Smith professor, James D. Lowenthal, for a more in-depth look at how the new standards will help with the light pollution. The light pollution in Northampton is about the same as most other cities of its size in the United States, which is to say it's pretty bad. It's bad enough that if you go out on a typical clear night like tonight and you look up, you can't see the Milky Way. And in fact, there are about 5,000 stars over your head. You can only see maybe one in five of those and it's getting worse. Light pollution is light that is excessive. It's lights that are too bright, lights that are on all night long even when nobody is there using them. Lights that are directed poorly, they're shielded poorly so that instead of just shining down on the ground where they're useful, they're shining out sideways or even up into the sky. Uh, lights that are too blue because blue light is, is worse for practically every purpose. It, it uh, scatters more in the, in the sky and makes the sky brighter than other colors. Um, all of those effects combined make light pollution. And the way that we experience light pollution is, well, as we said, the sky glows artificially bright and it ruins the view of the, the stars and the heavens. But also more practically in day-to-day -day life, it shines in our windows. It, uh, it ruins our sleep. It's bad for our health. It, um, it shines directly in our eyes. So as we're driving or walking or biking down the street, it's actually making it less safe than if there were no light at all. And it's bad for animals, for wildlife, and it's a pure waste of energy. Light that shines up into the sky or miles away, it, it's costing us money. It's producing uh, greenhouse gases to make that electricity, but it's not doing any good. It's estimated that the United States wastes about $50 billion a year on light pollution just up into the sky. What causes light pollution is light that's poorly designed. Uh, it's so easy to do light right. You just put the light in a can and you face the can down. Uh, you'll have good light as long as it's uh, also the right color and not too bright. But instead, what we find is that most lighting outdoors is installed by people who have not studied it, who don't really know anything about it. Uh, you might be a, a really fantastic electrician and know everything about uh, wiring and, and, and volts and amps and circuit breakers, but that doesn't mean that, uh, that you understand really how the the light is going to affect the environment and, and safety and so on. So these things are worth knowing, but as a society, we haven't put enough energy into understanding them. There are some wrinkles in the plan that I, uh, I am hopeful will be uh, taken care of. Uh, they're mostly technical things. There are some uh, confusing parts where uh, the details matter, but they're not quite right. Uh, for example, the amount of light that is allowed to sign, shine on, a, on a, an outdoor sign. Um, I think it doesn't quite make sense the way it is right now. Uh, but there have been a lot of wrinkles that have already been ironed out. I think it's well on the way to being a good solid bylaw. Overall, what I like best about the plan, two things. First of all, the values. The values are darkness at night, natural darkness at night is valuable. It's worth preserving. It's critical for public health and public safety and wildlife and saving energy and preserving the heritage of the night sky. Those values are, are in the bylaw. What I also like about the bylaw is that it says, this bylaw applies not just to private residences, not just to public commercial properties, but also to the city itself. The project to change the lighting standards in Northampton has been in production on and off for around three years. And now thanks to the city council, this plan will hopefully be put into action. Thanks for watching Culture Shock.